probably took me a period of maybe, you know, three or four years to realize that. Yeah. You know, I had, I had two friends back during that period of time. They were really, really nice guys, really, you know, very kind, gentle guys. One guy, I mean, both really super macho, super masculine guys. And we would go and hang out all the time. I was probably 50 pounds heavier. I had a long goatee and we would go out and we would hit the clubs. And I, I've always been more of a laid back, reflective, contemplative person. So my two friends that I would go out with were guys who could clean house. Mm -hmm. They were very, very nice. But if something happened, I had one friend who was really, really good in Taekwondo. Then I had another friend who moved very slowly, but was around 285 pounds of just muscle, just yeah. enormous, like a brute about two or three inches taller than me. I'm about six, two. So he was about two or three inches taller than me and a lot heavier. And, you know, it wasn't unusual for him in his own time to, you know, throw someone out of a window or whatever, if, if he was so inclined, so he could do it. He could do it. He looked like he knew how to take care of himself. And he did. And he was a very, very kind, gentle hearted guy. He used to take my mother for walks down the street. And I used to joke and say, she's safer with him than she could be with a, with a cop because a bullet ain't going to stop him. Mm -hmm. He'll keep right <laughs> on going. You're going to have to pump several rounds to stop him, you know, but just a really nice, sweet guy. And after several years, I just realized this isn't what I want. Right. Right. I'm tired of going out. And when I made that decision, the funny thing is that Providence bent to meet me.